This morning, our prayers are with the families of those injured and killed in the senseless shooting. We stand with you and we will be providing whatever assistance we can in the days and weeks ahead. We found out that the rifle that this suspect used was an SKS. There's a AK-47 type assault rifle. Uh, it was purchased legally in the state of Nevada on July the 9th of this year. And reports have been going out of potential suspect. And I will confirm that the suspect is the person uh, that several news media have been inquiring about. Santino William Logan, who was 19 years old. As soon as he saw the officers, he engaged the officers and fired at the officers with that rifle. Uh, and I had three officers that engaged the suspect. Uh, and despite the fact that they were outgunned with their handguns against a rifle, uh, those three officers were able to fatally wound that suspect and uh, the event ended very quickly. I can't tell you how proud I am of the officers for being able to engage this guy as quickly as they did because we had thousands of people there in a very small area and you know it could have gone so much worse so so fast. We don't have a motive for the shooting as yet. We did have reports of a potential second suspect. We don't have any confirmation that any second suspect did any shooting, um, but we certainly are investigating all leads to try to determine uh, who that potential second suspect is and what exactly that person's role was. And I can tell you that the people of Gilroy are strong, we're resilient, and during the course of this uh, investigation, um, as law enforcement continues to research and investigate it, um, the Gilroy community will mourn, but we will get through it. Mass gun violence is an epidemic in the United States, and yet one never imagined such a thing can happen here in our beautiful community.